Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm showcasing products from the latest card kit by Simon's Stamp. It is an adorable card kit, I love the color combination and it comes with lots of goodies including uh, embossing powder, those little buttons, a ribbon, a metal tag, there are stickers that include flowers, butterflies as well as uh, sentiments. You will find uh, envelopes, pre-folded uh, standard cards as well as your cardstock a big stamp set that uh, will give you lots of flowers and butterflies to play with and of course there are many pattern papers included just like always and these are quite long they are 6 by 8 if you want to win this card kit make sure to visit my blog and leave a comment there if you are watching on youtube you will find the link down below in the description area so these are 6x8 and uh, the papers are perfect for creating slimline cards, either you go for the standard big slimline card or if you go for the smaller size. I decided for today to use the pattern papers and show you different ways on how you can use them, as lately we mainly stamp and never use pattern paper. So I, uh, I always like to share these kind of uh, cards when I have the opportunity. I'm going to go for slimline cards and especially the mini slimline cards because they are super easy to create, you don't have such a big real estate to cover up and it's always fun to change up things when we are card making so that uh, we can have some challenges and uh, we don't get bored always working on the same standard card size. So today I will combine pattern papers and I will create three mini slimline cards and I'm starting with this beautiful one that has a border of flowers. So all I'm doing is using my scissors to fuzzy cut around that design. I'm not going exactly where the um, flower is, I'm just leaving a border all around which in this case is black. I'm going to combine that with uh, the black and white stripped pattern paper. One thing that I find quite difficult when I'm working with pattern paper is when the pattern paper is double-sided, which is actually the case with today's papers. It's always difficult to decide which side you are going to use since you have to sacrifice the design at the back. All the cards that I'm making today are very easy to recreate and you can make them in no time. I'm going to use these dies from the latest release by Simon's Stamp to cut out my panels, which are perfect for the mini a slimline card that I'm going with. It is called mini slimline rectangles, but if you don't have these dies, you can always use your uh, paper trimmer to cut out the panels, and the size is three and a quarter by six and a quarter. Since I do have them, I like to use them for making my life easier and I don't have to do any measurement at all. But again, the size for a slimline card, for a mini slimline card, is three and a quarter by six and a quarter. If you follow me, you already know that I cannot live without dimension on my card, so I just have to pop that uh, border of flowers on top of the background paper. And in the kit you will find a metal tag, it's one of the Ideology by Tim Holtz metal tags that have a sentiment on top. Mine says, your greatest creation is always going to be your life story. And I'm going over it with a white paint marker, you can do that with your gesso, you can do that with uh, white acrylic paint, just cover it up completely, let it sit for a few seconds and then wipe it off with a clean cloth or a paper towel. This is going to allow for the ink to stay only where those carved um, letters are and it's going to help them pop so the sentiment is more readable. It's a fun little trick that we do in our mixed media projects, so I thought it would be fun to repeat that in a card making project as well. I am going to thread the ribbon through those slots which are perfectly made for this job since they are both ideology products designed by Tim Holtz so they are going to fit nicely together. To hold the ribbon in place I'm using double sided tape at the back, I'm going to peel it off and then secure it around the panel. The double sided tape that I'm using is not very forgiving so you have to be very careful to align it correctly the first time. But the good thing is that it's going to keep that uh, quite heavy label, metal label, in a place. And of course you need to have the correct uh, scissors to cut that out. I'm using the B scissors for uh, doing my fuzzy cutting but for all the rest of the jobs I just use my non-stick Tim Holtz scissors. Anyway, 
If you want to take this uh, card further, you can cut out a butterfly or there are bigger and smaller ones. There are even uh, stickers that you can use like the little hearts, for example. But in any case, make sure that you use one of the stickers that don't have a white border all around. All around since none other of your elements have a white border. For example, this butterfly has a border and it wouldn't look nice in this design. But of course, you can use the sentiments. They don't have a border, so they fit nicely with this design as well. In all three of the cards that I'm sharing today, I tried to use only products that were included in the kit. The only time that I'm going to cheat on the next two cards is when I'm going to add some gems here and there, but I'm sure you all have a few gems laying around on your craft stash. Plus, I wanted to make sure that all the cards are very easy to recreate, so they are perfect for beginners that get the kit as well. So here is another super simple idea combining two pattern papers. This is the side that I have to sacrifice, but I'm going for the row of uh, beautiful butterflies there. And I'm going to pair that with the um, white polka dots on the black background. If you want, you can go with this design for a super long uh, slimline card, since you have all those butterflies in a row. However, I decided from the beginning that I'm going to create only the mini slimline cards for this video. So I will have to cut off one of the butterflies at the top. This is not a problem, I'm going to leave it aside and I will use it as a focal point on the next card. When your design is so simple, it's always nice to add some dimension because it adds something extra on your card. But always keep in mind that you don't have to overthink your cards. They can be beautiful even if they are super simple. I like to hold them vertically on my table, this way I know they are perfectly aligned. And now let's move on and look at the, through those stickers to find the sentiment. I'm going to go with a black one and there is enough space in between the butterflies to stick that on top. For that again I'm going to go with foam tape at the back so that I can pop it. And just to add something extra on the card I'm going to use some uh, clear gems and stick them on the tips of their antennas. I'm using my tacky glue there to add the dots of glue. With my embellishment wand I'm going to pick up the gems and stick them in place. And here is a close-up look on the butterfly card. Super easy to recreate and very fast to make, but at the same time so beautiful. When you have pattern paper so pretty as this one, just let it do the hard job for you. Now here is the leftover butterfly from the previous card and as I was browsing through the pattern papers I found the same design but quite bigger. So I had the idea to cut them out both so they can stack one on top of the other and create something dimensional. And uh, for this card I'm going for one of those cards where you create a cluster of elements and I decided to go with this uh, newspaper look as my background. So again I'm going to use my mini slimline rectangles to cut out the panels. This is the second largest one and uh, if you want to know the measurements they are two and a half by five and three quarters. I'm also going to fuzzy cut the butterfly and of course for both those butterflies I'm not going to cut out the antennas. Once you place them on your card you can always use some wire to create antennas or just draw them with a fine pen which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a very thin strip of foam tape just behind the body of the butterfly and stick the small on top of the larger one. And also just with my fingers I did add some uh, curve on the wings of the smaller butterfly. This is going to give it even more dimension. Now there are many elements included in the kit for creating a cluster card. For that I'm going to use some uh, stickers but I don't want to have that white border around them. That's why I picked a few of those uh, flowers and uh, I'm just going to cut off that white border. It really depends on uh, the design that you are going for. For this design it just didn't work. For example, the butterfly I have doesn't have a border around, so I need to have a consistency throughout all the elements of my card. I place the background paper on top of a slimline panel that's a three and a quarter by six and a quarter, and then I'm going to play with different elements and create a cluster. So I'm going to play with a couple of flowers that you see here, a white and a pink one. I also cut out a strip of that pattern paper that has black and uh, white uh, stripes and this is a leftover from the first card that I made. I also picked a couple of sentiments, one black and one uh, pink one to match the color of the flower. 
And you can see me picking up different elements here, like hearts in different colors and trying to decide where I want them to go. I'm not pressing anything too hard. These stickers are quite forgiving, so you can just lay them on top and move them around. And once you're happy with the placement, then you can press them down and they are going to stay put. The kit also includes these buttons that would be great for creating one of those cluster cards, however they didn't work for my design here, so I'm going to leave them for another card. Finally, for making my card extra special and to add some sparkle, I'm going to add a few crystal gems. I'm not going with a color of uh, gems here, since I don't want that to be too distracting. Here is a close-up look on all the three cards that I made for today using products from the Simon's Stamp Card Kit. Don't forget there is a giveaway for this card kit on my blog, make sure to visit and leave me a comment there. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for visiting today and I'll see you all next time.